Hello, I'm Rex Busterfield, and I'd like to welcome you to a video about my Qualcomm Sim Squeeze. There are many instruments that make use of free reads for the sound generation, and probably the big daddy of them all is the accordion. So the Sim Squeeze aims to simulate an accordion and by reducing the number of registers and altering some of the settings you can create uh, sounds of a concertina, bandonian, harmonium, melodica, harmonica and so on. As always with my plugins there's lots of detailed information in the user guide and lots of background information in the background info folder. But I'll give you a run through now with some audio demonstrations of what the Qualcomm Sim Squeeze can do. I chose what seems to be a popular arrangement for the more advanced accordions, which is to have five reed blocks or ranks and uh, registers 16 foot, three at eight foot, and one at four foot. As you might expect, the registers can be selected with these buttons here. So if we start off with just the 8 foot, which could easily be a uh, Melodica or Constantine or Bandonian. We have two further 8 foot registers and some accordions only have uh, an 8 foot plus, which is detune sharp um, to give what they call a tremolo stop accordions which uh, feature so-called musette stop also have another eight foot rank which is detuned flat and that gives a, a fuller sound And of course you can uh, set the amount of detuning on the 8 foot minus and the 8 foot plus stops. Now the 16 foot uh, rank of reeds or reed block play an octave lower. And the four foot plays an octave higher. And when all these ranks are playing, that is generally referred to as the master stop. For any of the ranks, we can choose to have that set of reeds in the Cassotto box. A Cassotto box is uh, a resonating box in which the reeds play which has the effect of reducing the higher harmonics and adding some resonance, uh, which is supposed to lead to a, a warmer sound. And the Cassato knob simulates different sizes and absorbances of the Cassato box. The air pressure applied to a free reed will determine the volume and timbre. And uh, on a squeeze box, like an accordion, the bellow control is very important. So with the setup here, I've got a CC number one set, which is the mod wheel. So I'll operate the mod wheel and you can hear the dynamic range. You can also, if you haven't got a mod wheel, use the on-screen knob. Which of course can be automated. There are two modes available for the bellows control. One is what I've termed position, where the module simply controls 
the Amplitude and Tambo, which you just heard. And the other one, which is more tricky to operate, works like real bellows, so you have to keep the mod wheel moving to hear the sound. Finally, let's turn that back to position. You have a uh, normal mode, which takes the modulation source, like the mod wheel, from zero to one, or you can have it centered. So in centered, the center position of the mod wheel is uh, zero volume. Let's find it, there it is, in which case you can go in either direction from center to increase the volume, and then simulate a shake that way. The min knob sets the minimum control value for the bellows. So my module's at zero at the moment, so you don't hear anything. If I keep it at zero, then it never goes below that value. And the sensitivity, which is really more useful for rate, sets the response to your rate of change of the mod wheel. The reads panel uh, allows you to control the timbre and behaviour of the reads and that's for all of the reads in the instrument. The gap control simulates the separation between the reed tongue and its frame. Uh, so normally you'd leave that minimum to get the uh, higher harmonic sounding. But if you wish to make a larger gap, this is the sound. The size knob simulates the effect of having longer or shorter reeds for a given pitch. So a longer reed will emphasize the fundamental and lower harmonics more. The metal knob simulates having a softer or harder reed material so it could be uh, brass, bronze, phosphor bronze or whatever and the effect of that is on the the resonances within the material of the reed itself. The onset knob sets the time between pressing a note and hearing the maximum volume so um, you think of it as an attack and it is also tracked to the pitch and the simulated pressure from the bellows so if you double click you get what I think is about average you can get a longer onset time or a faster onset time. The chiff knob sets the level of air that can sometimes be heard in the time between pressing the key and hearing the maximum volume. So this really comes into play when you set unnaturally long onset times. Now you can hear the chiff at the start of the note. Now it's a characteristic of all free reeds that their pitch will drop at higher pressures and on a well-designed system that drop will be about 10 cents. But you can just about hear that. But you can set a much more extreme value if you want. Tuning is pretty straightforward. You have plus or minus 12 semitones. 
and you have fine tuning which goes plus or minus 50 cents with the readout for what the A frequency is. Now the box that contains all the reads and keys and so on will have some effect on the uh, on the overall timbre and this is not to be confused with the Cassato box because these settings affect all the registers, all the reads together. Uh, so the size of the box is set to this knob. and the resonance amount with this one. Accordions uh, can be quite noisy with key noise clicking from their uh, keyboard operation. So here you can set the amplitude of that key clicking sound. So I'll turn it high. And if we set it to maximum, we have um, a special mode, an advanced mode, which is referred to as SAW, which mutes all the reads and enables the player to use the keyboard as a sort of washboard type percussion instrument. Now all squeeze boxes have an air release button. This means that the player can open or close the bellows without a note sounding, and that makes a sort of rushing noise. So if we want to hear that, we need to set that to rate, and then we have the volume of the air level as we operate the mod wheel. I'll turn that up a bit. And I should mention that that air noise is muted when you play a note in the right mode. Vibrato is a method of expression that's sometimes heard from accordionists and it can be uh, achieved with the modulation wheel, for instance, manually. And that gives you good control, but it's quite tricky to do. Or you can use the vibrato panel. We can set an amount of vibrato, the delay, the fade in, and the frequency. Now that used uh, the knob, the amount knob, which of course you can uh, automate. Or you can choose the CC controller, and when you choose, say, the mod wheel, you can set an amount above which the vibrato starts. Or, of course, you can use aftertouch. So there you go, that just about covers my Quilcom Sim Squeeze and as I said before there's much more information in the user guide and uh, if you're looking for a synthetic accordion sound maybe you'll find a uh, use for this. Now it seems that uh, squeeze boxes of various sorts um, are very popular in Irish uh, music session. Uh, gatherings. So I'm going to play you out with an Irish jig medley using one instance of the Corkham Sim Squeeze. And until the next time, bye!